Memphis in the city is, it's amazing. <laughs> if you guys would just join us in worship right now, we're just going to keep going. We're going to go deeper today. We're going to press in further. We're going to praise higher. We're going to open up the doors of the Save Mart Center. What? We're the Save Mart Center and just let the worship flow out into the city. Let's do it. Peace be still, calm this soul, I need you here now, restore my hope, and I confess, I've been afraid, remind my heart, Lord, increase my faith. As courage comes to take fierce place with perfect love, perfect love. Let's sing this out together. Oh, what can take away my hallelujah? No darkness can contain my hallelujah. Your cross has made the way. My hallelujah, my hallelujah. You give, you give life. No man can take, no power in hell could separate. My hallelujah, nothing could take. My hallelujah, shadows will fade, darkness will break. I'll keep on singing, sing it out. And nothing could take. My hallelujah, nothing could take. My hallelujah, shadows will fade, darkness will break. I'll keep on singing. And nothing could take. One more time. Oh, what? 
first got married, we lived in Fresno in a little apartment off Nees Avenue in a, at a church here at, that Daniel's uh, now the pastor of. And we started writing these songs in this little apartment and for our church, for this city. And a few of them have, have gone further than that. But this song is called Holy Spirit. And uh, I just really felt like this is the city that this song came from. And I want to declare this at the top of our lungs, that it would fill this arena, that it would fill the streets of the city, that people all over this city would become more aware of the presence of God, of the goodness of God, of the kindness of God that leads us to repentance. Yeah, let's sing this, let's declare this. Today. There's nothing worth more that would ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. It's your presence. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of lives where my heart becomes free and my shame is a time in your presence Lord every voice and we sing holy spirit Become more aware 
of your presence. Just lift your hands. Let us experience the glory of your presence. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your presence. Let us become more aware of your I've just gone through probably the hardest season of my life, hopefully. <laughs> Please, Jesus, let it have been. Um, and I just saw God do miraculous, powerful things that were supernatural, that just fed into my spirit and reminded me who he was, what he's done before, he will do it again. And like, that, like Daniel said when he was up on stage, when he opened the service, the words of our mouth, the words that we choose to speak, what we say, what we declare, what we decree, is what he says, it's the truth, and that's what we align with. And there's power in that. And like he said, the power of life and death are in the tongue, are in what we choose to say. And not what somebody says over you, or what somebody has said over you, or what you've been diagnosed with, or what you've spoken over your own self, but what God says. That's what we choose to declare, that's what we choose to believe, that's what we choose to step out on and live our life on. And so when we wrote this next song, this is exactly what this prayer was for me. I said, Jesus, what do you say? What do you say? I know what I say. I know the lies I've been believing. I know that this is something I've dealt with. I haven't seen my breakthrough yet. What do you say? Who do you say I am? What do you say you are? Who are you, Jesus? And these are the words that he gave me to declare, to pray. And so we're going to sing this today. And I just want to say this because I feel like the words that I speak today with the platform we've been given is hopefully exactly what God wants to say over you. And I think that is that God wants to free some people today. And there's some people that walked in here believing lies about yourself, whether it's something that has tormented you, whether it's depression, whether it's anxiety, whether it's suicidal thoughts, whether it's fear or fear of man. I just feel like it's going to lift off you today. And I want you to expect it. I want you to expect it. And I want you to declare this with me, okay? Let's sing this out. I found you in the middle of my mess You have been there all along Open arms and open heart You called me in You didn't hesitate at all And the lies I once believed they crumble at the weight of 
And shame has to leave as well. Cause I know whose I am. I'm clean. I'm clean and free. Fear can go to hell. And shame. And I'm no longer safe to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer safe to fear. I am a child of God. Let's sing that out. And I'm no longer safe to fear, cause I am fully forgiven. I'm no longer safe to fear, I am a child of God. Yes, I am.
As I was worshiping, as I was worshiping, I felt so strongly in my heart. Oh, man. Some of y'all want the freedom but don't want the sacrifice that goes with it. Some of you want Jesus to show up in your life and you've been waiting. But some of y'all got to show up at his doorstep and never leave until he shows up. So I want to keep going just a little bit longer if that's okay with you guys. Just go back into that one more time because there are some of you that he's speaking directly to. That there is some freedom that he wants to bring to your life. That you have, you've been dreaming of. People have been praying over you for years. But you don't want to sacrifice what other might think, what someone else might say about you. It might challenge something that you even believe. But let me tell you something that I've learned this weekend. I thought that I knew Jesus. <laughs> I thought that I did, but he took a dream. You can't tell me God doesn't speak today because he took a dream in my heart and turned it into this. So with everything in me, there's only a few of you. You need that freedom. Sacrifice, just, just be willing to sacrifice for the cause of Christ. Isn't he worth it? The lamb that was slain, isn't he worth it? He is so worthy to be glorified. He's so worthy to be praised. He is so worthy to wait on. Jesus, we will stand at your doorstep until you show up. I don't know how long you've been struggling. It might be weeks, it might be months, it might be even be years. But let me tell you, don't ever leave that place. Never graduate from the feet of Jesus. So we're going to go right back into this. And I'm telling you right now, there is freedom waiting for you if you will just sacrifice what others might think for just a moment. If you would just sacrifice it for another five minutes, just stay with me. If you would just sacrifice it, he has that freedom, he has that answer, he has that key that you've been waiting for.
Time, every voice. And how great is to pray oh he's worthy oh he's worthy oh he's worthy of praise